All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Harba Kakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And this is a, just a quick exhortation. What are you waiting for? And I'm speaking to you men that's out there, that's at home, just watching videos. Okay? What are you waiting for? You see? And if the spirit is telling you to come out to the highways and byways to get this word to fellowship with the brothers, then what are you waiting for? What is your excuse? All right. You say you're a man of the Lord, right? You say you believe to be a man of the Lord. You see, you say you're a true believer, right? Don't you want to follow the lamb where to ever he goeth? So what are you waiting for? All right. And you know that the truth, the true wisdom, knowledge and understanding is where on the highways and byways, as the scripture says, wisdom crieth out. She uttered her voice in the streets. You see, so that those are where the men, that's where the men of the Lord are going to be crying out on the highways and byways. Right. Prophesying the word of Yah Bashim Yah Bashai. Right now, we do know we have the unicorn. Which is, the, which is doing the heavy lifting Which is uh, also known as the internet Right? We know we have that And a lot of people have woke up to that So You know That's a great thing that he had You know The uh, the uh, You know The internet created Ultimately for his word to go through the four corners of the earth By the way of uh, By the way of the servants of prophets Preaching the word You know By the way of the, the men of the Lord preaching the word By using that internet to do the heavy lifting but it becomes a point in time where you need to come out to the highways and byways, man. All right? What is your what is your excuse for not coming to the highways and byways? What is your excuse? I, I'll say it again. What are you waiting for? You see? Don't you want to follow the land where to wherever you go? All right? So uh this is the book of Luke 9, verse 57, and it says, And it came to pass that as they went in the way. A certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the ear have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach. Do what? But go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. So you don't need to be making any excuses, any excuses, man. You see? As you see here, these men, after the Lord said, follow him, he said he had to go bury his father. But look, what, what did the Lord say? He said, let the dead bury their dead. You see? And he who wandereth wander out of the way, he who wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right, so this is what he's saying, right? Let the dead, right? Let these people that are spiritually dead bury their dead, the people that are physically dead. You see, I have a more important job for you to do, and that's to do what? But go down and preach the kingdom of the Most High. You see, because that's what's important, right? That's what you're going to do if you're a man of the Lord, if you're a servant, uh, if you're a prophet, okay? That's what you're going to do. You know, and a way of being built up, right? Another way of being built built up is being where? On the highways and byways, man. Dealing with the elements. Dealing with everything that comes with you on the highways and byways. Hey, that's a part of making your body a living sacrifice. Being on the highways and byways. You see? Not sitting in not sitting in the house, man, just watching videos, man, for six months or over a year, man. You see? Now we now I know that the Lord does have it at a set time for you know men to uh, ultimately you know or eventually slack your the better word eventually to get up and, and go out there on the highways and byways you see but the way this word the word is going forth right the way the doors of repentance is closing the mercy is closing the way how the, this truth is going out where you're able to you know get this word day and night 24 hours a day right 
you know, brothers is growing more faster than ever. Than ever. You know, through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Yahusha. You see? But you not wanting to come, want, wanting to come to the battlefield. Hey man, you better check, check, you want to check that spirit, man. You see? Because you're gonna to have to come to the battlefield to be battle tested. You see? But you don't want to be like these men making excuses on reasons why you're not coming out to the highways and byways, man. You see? You don't want to be like these men. Verse 60, it says, it says, Yahweh said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are which are at my home, at my house. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having, Salakia, because I'm in transit, it says, And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High, man. You see that? No, and Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the of the most high man you see and putting your hand to the plow is doing its work man ultimately that's what it is it's doing its work all right when you see when you watch the different videos and you see the men uh the men of the lord on the highways and byways right i mean and i know that this hopped on my spirit to be like you know what this is this, this is what I want to do, man. Right? That's just how my spirit was. Like, this is this, this is my job. This is my duty. You know, I wanted to go to the highways and byways, man. You know, now it took me some time because, you know, in my mind I said it, I wanted to be built up a, a little more. Now that that's you know um, logical, right? But if you got brothers in your city, because I didn't have no brothers in my city at the time uh, when I first came in, you know. Until about maybe uh, six, seven months later, you know, and then I end up going out there uh, by myself. And then th through the uh, spirit of the Lord, I uh, ran into the elder brother, Manata Zakba, right? That's who I came up under and uh, ran into my brother, Yawan, which they both down in the Carolinas now, GMS Myrtle Beach, GMS uh, South Carolina. Okay. But it was in my spirit to be like, you know what? This is what I need to be doing. I need to be out on the highways and byways. And of course, I wanted to get built up first. Right, everything was in due season, you know. And maybe I might have had uh, a few, you know, excuses, excuses out of uh, you know, um, you know, uh, I was I was nervous, right? But one day the spirit hopped on me, and, and it was to another brother that was like, "Man, you you know enough, get out there into the highways and byways, right?" I remember the apostles and elders even said it, right. You, if you if you know a certain amount, right? You know the the milk. You need to get out there into the on, on the highways and byways, man, and go teach the word, man. And through the spirit of the Lord, the Lord is dealing with you. He'll build you up. And through water, y'all bashim and that's what he did. Okay. But you you other brothers, you know, if you got brothers in your city, man, you know, hey, man, it's it's a little bit easier for you. You see, for you to come out there and and get this word and learn and ask questions, things like that. Even what brothers doing. Uh, these live lessons Right But the point is man Look You can't be making excuses man Right You can't be making excuses forever man You see So Come out to the hey, With a, an ex exhortation man Hey man You brothers man Come out to the highways and byways man You see Ain't, ain't, not, hey, ain't nothing else better to do than, than to do this work man You see To make your body a living sacrifice Right, but you don't want to be like these men, okay? They made excuses when it was time to follow the Lord, man. Right? You don't want to be like these men. Check this out. You want to be like these men. Um, let me see. Uh, uh check this out. Right? Fishers of men. Slock you. Right? Because that's what we're doing on the highways and byways. Truly, we fishing. You see? And we fishing for the elect. Alright? So, uh... Let's see. Come on, man. So, 
uh, check the book of uh, Jeremiah. Let's see. It's locked, y'all, because I'm in transit. Um, right, but dealing with... Uh, I believe it was John. I believe it was John and James. Let's see. Uh, let's try this fish. Right. So I can't slot you. So I can't find it at the moment. But the point is, right? You got, you got men in the scriptures, right? When it was time to follow Yahweh Shai, right? What did they do? They didn't make excuses. They dropped their nets and followed the Lord, man. They dropped their nets and followed the Lord immediately. Immediately. Right? Um, here we go right here. This is the book of Matthew 4. You know what? Let's start at verse... 18 it says in Yahweh shot walking by the Sea of Galilee Walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two Brethren Simon and Peter And Andrew his brother casting A net into the sea for they were Fishers and he saith Unto them follow me And I will make you Fishers of men Right what happened Next And they straightway left their Nets and followed him you see they make no excuses at all. They dropped their occupation of what they was doing, and they went to they went to follow Yahweh Shai, man. You see, so that's how you want to be, right? It says, uh, and going on from thence, he saw saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them, and they immediately left the ship. And their father And what And followed him You see So you want to be likened to these uh, Four men right here Right James John Simon Right Which is called Peter and Andrew You see You want to drop everything And follow Yahweh Shai man You see Hey What did uh, uh, Debo uh, say uh, What did Debo say to get Craig's dead To, to turn back around to go get him What did he say Craig's in trouble Drop everything. What do you say? Uh, uh, roughly, roughly. Um, forget how he said. I'm gonna try to quote it the best. But he said, uh, you know, quick, quick. He said, quick. Craig's in trouble. You know, something to that effect. But what, what did his dad do? What did pops do? Right. He dropped everything, and and went to go get his son. Right. You know. I mean, that's just a, a carnal example. But um, but the point is, what did he do, man? He dropped what he was doing and went to go get Craig, man. You see? So, you know, you want to be like these these, these uh four brethren right here. You know? You want to drop you want to drop everything and do what the Lord uh do what the Lord has commanded you to do. And which one of those things is going to the highways and byways. Right? The preach on the streets. You know? Once you get to the to that built up stage, right? But you ain't never really gonna get to that built up stage, and, and, unless you know, uh, um, not not uh. Let me rephrase that. You know, you're never really going to experience what's going on on the highways and byways until you're out there. Okay, that's what I meant to say. Until you're out there. All right. Um. What did I want to say? And uh, you know. And a lot of people start to make excuses once they figure out, right? You know, when you got to carry the cross, man, you know, it becomes too much of a, of a burden for them. You see? But you got to remember, man, look, you got to get, do you understand what Yahweh Shai did, man? Yahweh Shai went on the cross for the whole nation. You see? But through his stripes, we were healed. Right? Through his stripes, we were healed. Okay? So we know we can't couldn't go through what Yahweh Shai went through, right? But what is he asking of us, right? What is he asking for us? 
you know? Not, he's not asking something too hard for us to do. Right? He's not asking us to go on that cross to get the thorns stuck through our heads, to get our, our, our feet nailed and our uh, our feet nailed and our, our hands nailed. Right? And, and getting and pierced in the side. No, we, you know, he, the Heavenly Father's not asking all that you know, from us. You see? But what the Heavenly Father is asking, right? What Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is asking of us is what? To repent, return unto Him, right? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? And we try to keep them to the best of our ability, okay? Due to this captivity, this this damn hellhole cesspool that we're in, you see? You know? And, and one of the other things, and you know, there's a few more. I'm just mentioning uh, 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 a few of them. Another thing is to go to the highways and byways, man. To preach the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? To preach the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so, you know, Lord willing, hopefully, through the Spirit, you know, hey, man, you know, a brother may hear this and, and they get up off their ass, man, and, and come out to the highways and byways. You see? Because that's really what it is. It, it's exhortation, man, for you brothers to stop making excuses, right? And if you know that milk, right? Not saying it, it'd be time for you to teach, you know, as far as if there's already a, a, an established camp in your area. But, hey, man, come to the highways and byways, man. Come fellowship, man. Come get this word. You see? Come get this word. Come get built up with this beautiful wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, of your how about you, your shot, man. You see? Because ain't nothing more than to, 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 to dwell with brethren, you know, to dwell with brethren in unity, you see. But, you know, that, that's just my quick exhortation to the spirit today. You know, Lord, I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.